pattern that Tristan had too with women was, and this is very much related to his law of attraction with his mum, is that um, there was a lot of wanting to please, and so you can see I also had an emotion of wanting to please women. So that was that you know I taught Tristan a lot of this uh, these things, and then because his mum was a person who wanted to be pleased, and um, obviously that was doubled, even the injury sort of doubled up. So. He ended up with this huge emotion of just wanting to please and be considered true with women all the time. And, uh, and when I dealt with my emotion about it, he was drawn into a relationship pretty much straight after that helped him deal with a lot of his emotion about it. So you can see that again, there's this linkage, even though Chris is 24 now, there's this linkage between my emotion and me dealing with my emotion and then Tristan dealing with his emotion. And the more I want to deal with my emotion, the stronger that linking seems to be, mm. like the quicker it happens and the better it happens. So, so if I deal with something today, oftentimes with, with now that Tristan's in this space where he wants to deal with his emotion, if I deal with something today, generally within the next day or so, Tristan will ring me up and say, oh, I've been dealing with this, you know, what's going on, you know? <laughs> what have you done recently, he says. Because <laughs> a lot of times, uh, exactly what I've just dealt with is exactly what he needs to connect to. Um, as parents, as you're doing through your stuff, right, seriously, it'll be, you don't know how much help you're giving your kids. Not only for like, how much pressure you take off their shoulders, but also as you go through your stuff, when they want to go through their stuff, all they have to do is ask you and you can just tell them and they'll go, ah, oh, good, let's do that then. So that makes it a lot easier. It's a lot harder if the parent doesn't deal with their emotion and the child then has to do work through theirs, which is what many of you are facing, right, in your own lives now. The parents are not, your parents may be not working through the emotion and you're having to work through yours and that's a very, very hard job. So you can, as a parent, one of the best ways, rather than go into your guilt about your children, one of the best ways that you can help your children now that you know all this is to actually start processing your emotion as fast as you can possibly process it without guilt and without judgment, without, you know, without shame and those kind of emotions. As you do that, then it helps your child straight away. It helps you, you, no matter what age they are, it helps them straight away. So one thing I've uh, worked my way through, I've prayed a lot to God about forgiveness and repentance about how I've treated my children and I had to work through a lot of that emotionally. As I work through that emotionally, uh, there's been quite big changes in my sons. And then, and then as I've dealt with each emotion, because of the connection that, that's broken then between myself and my sons in terms of the codependent connections, they then deal with the emotion very rapidly afterwards. So it's a very good thing to keep in mind if you can, those things.